a lot of people do not know that uh, the line of actual control there is no physical line like the line of control with pakistan is actually a line the line of actual control is not a line it is perceptional they think it is this we think it is that now when china says that there is a certain petrol point that china wants to pressurize it is again that it is essentially for them not land grab for them the way they sell it to their people or their own army or the pla is that these are sovereignty issues and this is our land that india has occupied that is the way they are saying it sir how does india solve this problem of the line of actual control because like you very rightly said there is no physical line uh, haven't we gotten around solving it after 76 years so you know very important question and got now the fact is that a line makes it um, between two parties so you have a house i have a house there is a line sir. sanctified registered with some party international borders are international borders which are accepted internationally now when we made we are similar agreement so we had the line of control where general ps bhagat from our side and general hamid from the pakistani side went through from sangam right up to agpl sir and then 9981 and they delineated the line they converted into 29 or mosaics which were converted into 18 maps every inch of the territory from sangam to agpl was delineated and demarcated on ground everybody 18 maps were signed each one was signed there are stamps sir you units were there have a map of this kind which shows them exactly where the line of control is uh, so before i proceed further uh, may i interject and ask you sir uh, were these maps violated during the kargil war by pakistan yeah indeed they were the maps indeed right, indeed sir. you know see uh, again kargil war now we are going over different border prior to kargil war there was a thought process of holders hmm. keepers whoever occupies which territory becomes his despite the fact that the L- loc was designated it was delineated and demarcated it was finished still whoever could occupy it was the uh, the uh, you know there was this war in glacier you know bana top so, so, so. and there have been bad actions to occupy post off and on in, in in on this border of line of control so despite the fact it was signed it was still hold us keep us kargil which was actually they crossed the line of control and uh, occupied our areas and when we pushed them back we finished the thought process of holders keepers sir so, in 1990 he said no 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 if you are holding the post and you occupy it we will reserve the right to attack you and take the post back. i'm asking because that was your area sir yeah kargil was my area yes sir so i uh, you know kargil uh was evaluated in a manner the line of control but we actually answered that issue in firm manner saying that holders keepers don't apply out here there is no holder keeper we will reserve the right to occupy it in case of chinese line of line of control <coughs> chinese give out see firstly uh, we must grudgingly accept that the british uh, played many games in pre independent and decided many lines and they actually promulgated none and and they did not sign china we did, china was not even a neighbor with us there was tibet and there was sinkiang sure. so you know china was not a neighbor so chinese were called in uh, in the 1914 agree, uh, shimla agree, uh, uh, the conference took place but 72 sir no sir no. Uh, uh, 1914 1914 sir yeah 1914 there was a shimla um, conference in between a tibetan rep uh, a chinese rep and, and uh, sir sir macmohan macmohan all right okay sir uh, now i understand yeah. okay sir now i understand so sir macmohan is referring to only to arunachal pradesh that border sir. and and it go carried forward across to myanmar also that macmohan line sir. which is the watershed and it was on a very broad map so it was not a uh, very finely marked thing sir. there was no demarcation of the accession in the eastern ladakh border except that johnson line was there in uh, 1862 and subsequently uh, it was became johnson ardagh line in 1898 and then there was another british two people macdonald mccartney make another line so one followed kunlun range one followed karokoram range all this was confusion that was handed over so the at the time of our independence chinese got independence two years later Sure. you know but there was just no line there was no border sure. at some time we decided okay we will accept the johnson line now when decide the johnson line johnson line goes across to kunlun range which is includes the entire excision with us 
But meanwhile, the Chinese occupied Xinjiang first, and then they occupied Tibet, and they became our neighbors. Usse pehle to they were not our neighbors at all. Sure. Now when they became our neighbors, they started building a road through Xi Jinping, which we all know the history. And 1959, with no logic, no rationale, no historical evidence, they came up with a something called 1959 line, some detail of which was provided in 1960. That 59 line they've been quoting us to now in 2020 onwards also same 59 line which came as part of a Chawan Lai letter to Pandit Nehru. The fact is that there is actually no line per se. So there was a line which we were holding on 7th of September 1962 when we went for the war. Then after the war the thing changed. The Chinese occupied Xi Jin and they came and occupied some line out here. Now after 62 we have been. You know, daily dialing this issue of demarcating a line between two countries. There were no diplomatic relations till till seventies when we decided to make patrolling points in Xi Jinping, and we made one to sixty five patrolling points. It was through eight hundred twenty six kilometers of area sure. from uh, west of Karakoram Pass right up to of Chumar. Sure. These patrolling points became the limit of patrolling. Now, Chinese had not stated till the time uh, ever the, what is their line. They say 1959 line, but 1959 line had no logic, no rationale. You just can't draw a line on a map. Say, my border is here. That's not the way borders are demarcated between countries. Sure. So we de facto took uh, the areas close to the uh, limit of patrolling, which is the patrolling points, as close to LSC. Any time the Chinese patrol had guthum gutha with us, and you know we start learning out their perception. They said, okay, you are. So many kilometers ahead of your area, so we said no, no, no. This is our line patrolling point, our patrolling point. They didn't have patrolling points, but they used to do with them. But no, no. He says you are three kilometers ahead of us. So gradually over a period time, we start thinking, "In their perception, what is it? What do they think of land vector control?" So you drawing, start drawing a perception. That's a perceptional line. So our line has no relevance to them. Their line. We do, don't know; they have not shared, but we perceive that their line is something. So you know, you can't have a line of actual control which we signed in 1993, the Peace and Tranquility Treaty, which we said there will be a line of actual control. There was probably a hope that we will sit down together and demarcate and delineate a line. Probably that thought process may have been there in 1993. Sure. And I think once or twice the delegations met also. I think 2001 or something they met and uh, to decide and nothing came forward. So there is actually the doubt on what is the line. So when we talk about uh, line of actual control, we say either the watershed in the east, which is also you know contentious, and then we say the area of line of actual control, which we believe is the patrolling points, which are not acceptable to the Chinese. Therefore. Line of actual control per se, the LAC itself is a doubtful term till the time two parties sit together and finalize it. Unlike Pakistan, where everything is sorted, where it is mapped, every is mapped. every CEO gets a map. Sure, it is stamped. It is signed by John P S Bhagat and signed by John Hamid, and you can follow inch by inch the entire territory. You know, this is my territory. Here, there is. All perceptional basis, and you know the issue of perceptions got dragged so far that every time you say, "Sir, this is my line of actual control. This is my perception, Chinese perceptional line." The perceptions became a, a common usage term during briefings. Ah, uh, oh yeah, it was always perception. So when you see a map, you see so many lines. You see, you know, yeah, you have to start from one side. So this is Johnson line. This is McDonald line. This is. A line of this is a seventh September line. This is a line of actual control as per us and patrolling point. This is we feel Chinese perception. This Chinese fifty nine line. So the map is full of lines. So line of actual control per se became a uh, a problematic issue to even discuss here. 